Hi there, Chef Eric here. And Chef Jason. We're here at the Redbird Kitchen. We're gonna be working with our super French drumsticks today. So I go out to one of the cool restaurants in town right. that I love to eat at because I know they serve Redbird Farms chicken. Right. And I enjoy that for dinner. But the cool thing is, is as I'm looking at it, I'm getting a little jealous because I wanna do that at my house for a dinner party. And rumor has it, you know how to get that done. I do. I so how do I do am, it? Uh, a little bit responsible for this. We wanted to come up once again an innovative thing Love it. Um, to do in the restaurant side. So these are just a standard drumstick. So we've got our drumsticks that you can go buy at the grocery store. So this comes out of something I can go buy at my local grocery store. Exactly. That's All great. of them start off as a standard drumstick. Big fat drumstick. It is. I like it. So what we do uh, for the food service side of things yep. is we do a technique that's called Frenching. That's where you get to see this bone. Yeah. I'm gonna remove this skin. I'm gonna remove the, the inedibles. When you eat drumsticks, everybody likes to eat drumsticks. It's a natural handle. Yeah. But it has all the tendons inside that make it a little bit difficult. So what we do is we actually start off by cutting the knuckle. Nice, nice clean cut, yep. okay? So these tendons that we know that are in here, to get this look, I actually start really up high, up here, into, okay. the, into the meat itself. Yep. So I'm just gonna cut till I feel the bone. I'm gonna go all the way around in a circle. Very cool. And this is something great. I, I mean, this looks like something I can do at home. Exactly, you can do this at home. I'm gonna take the back of the knife and I'm gonna scrape and it's gonna pull off. Well, that's so pretty down, easy. Down off the bottom, okay. So that, that like took us like 15 seconds. Pretty much. That's yep. great. It's gonna be nice and clean. I'm gonna pull that out. So here's the waste, okay? So when I'm doing this at home, I'm probably gonna wanna have maybe like a little bowl, yeah. something I can put something my waste, throw that in. right? Sure. And now I can make a little stack and I can have my little soldiers. So now the cool thing is I can stand those up that way on a plate, I can lay them down. And yeah. now I'm cool because I'm doing at my house what restaurants are doing that you're actually doing for everybody else. I'll give you one better. All right, I this like it. This is actually how the restaurant guys do this. So now I cut this top knuckle. Now that thing balances right on a plate. I love it. So innovation from the restaurant side, a cool little how-to video for the consumers. Exactly. And now I'm as cool as everybody else because I can do that at my house. Exactly. So that is what? So these are our cooked version. I think these are really, really versatile. Yeah. Once again, they are naked chicken. You are going to get just chicken. You get to flavor them however you want. I'm so, gonna, you, so you didn't add anything to this? There's nothing no, yet. So just like all the rest of your chicken, it's exactly. good, good I clean can, fun. I could use a nice dry rub on the outside. Great. I could put them in a smoker. Yeah. I could put them straight on my grill. Can I brine them? You can totally brine them. Oh, love it. Add the flavors that you want to. You could even poach them where I'm going to take a cooking liquid of some hot sauce, yeah. some agave, some oh. water, oh. and now I'm going to cook these till they're totally done, I would put them on a sheet pan, put them in my refrigerator, done. and then for our party, because we're going to do this a day ahead, yeah. now for our party, we're going to take them out, we're going to put them on the barbecue grill, and we have hot sauce, hot wings that are coming straight off the grill. And then like, when is that? Is that going to happen like this weekend? So uh, I'll just pretty much, over. pretty much. I got to stop and get some beers and we're good to go. I love it. Good All job. Right. Thanks, man. Thank you.